Hey guys, welcome to another video here at Cloud Colubrids. I'm so excited to do this video. I'm giving you guys an update on my breeding projects. A couple of things changed. I learned a couple of tricks that worked, so I want to share that with you guys. It's going to be an amazing video, so stay tuned. So as you guys know, my pair of Tara Hamara Mountain Kings, Sahara and Mojave, haven't locked yet. There was a couple of suggestions in the comments. And a couple of people on Facebook also told me a certain trick to try, I did. So I wanna show you guys exactly what that trick is and if it worked. But first, I'm hungry, I need some coffee, I need something to fill my stomach. I just came from work, I wasn't planning on doing a video. So I'm gonna go eat real quick, get my coffee, and we'll continue this video. So I want to make a toast to everybody in the reptile community and everyone leaving these great comments. You guys are just amazing. I'm reading every comment and it really touches me and it's just amazing that people actually watch my videos and feel that way. So thank you guys so much and cheers to you guys. <sighs> Alright guys, so the tip was to take the shed of another male and introduce it into the bin with the female. So I'm learning so much this year about breeding snakes. This is my first time breeding these Nablockai king snakes. Now Sahara and Mojave, I tried four times and I left them overnight twice. I didn't see any locks, no action at all. And I removed all the repti chip put down paper towel and through the shed of a male king snake, an adult male king snake. And all of a sudden, every time I opened the bin, I seen a little dancing going on. I seen them locking up a couple of times. So it definitely had an effect on them. And these are just beautiful, beautiful king snakes with great temperament. So I'm really hoping that everything worked out and we get some good eggs this year. This is the first time breeding this pair. They are four years old. So um, you can see right here, they're doing a little dance and uh, I'm gonna give them a little bit of private time. Really, really something special going on here. All right, so now that you saw my Tarahan Mountain Mountain Kings, they locked, everything worked out. That shed might've been the tip. It might have been that I removed all the bedding and just put paper towel. I'm not sure if it was the shed, but it definitely worked for me. And also my T positives made it. I took the shed of that other little guy, but I'm gonna take this shed, put it back with that T positive female and go for round number three, just to make sure that there's a good quality lock. All right guys, so my Nelson's milk snake just shed. And this is a male, this guy's name is Candyman. So we're gonna take this shed. Now there she is. And that's the shed that I put in yesterday. It's from a baby snake. This shed is a little bit more mature. So let's see if it makes a difference. 
So this pair of milk snakes got off to a slow start, no action for a while, but I spotted a lock the other night and I wanna just try this out with the shed of an adult milk snake and see if we get one more lock, but right now it looks like they're just cuddling, so we'll let them be. All right guys, so this coffee has got me wired up and the other day I was feeding my snakes I gave you a video, but I forgot to add one of the snakes that I fed. I was editing, I got excited, forgot to add it in. So I'm gonna show you guys that now while I finish my coffee. All right guys, so now I wanna show you this beautiful anery ghost female, possible head scaleless. Her name is Hazel. She's starting to get a lot of yellow in her throat. You probably can't see it too much on camera but she has an amazing looking pattern. And I have a male named Mohawk that looks almost identical with the same heads. So my goal in the future is to prove her out and see is she, is she head scaleless and is the male head scaleless? If they are, beautiful. We'll have some beautiful babies with maybe some scaleless. And if not, that's fine too because these look just amazing with the scales, without the scales. Just beautiful. Boom. All right, so we're gonna wrap up the video here. We got a lot of things going on. Soon I'm gonna do a video. I gotta start making lay boxes for my girls. I have a couple from last year. I need some more. We're gonna do that. We got a lot of things going on. So just hang out, keep watching the videos, and we're gonna have fun each step of the way. I'll catch you guys in the next one. So I wanna make a toast to everybody in the reptile community. Ah, spilled my coffee. The reptile community. Alright, that should do it. That's not a duck? Oh, it's a, a heron? It's a heron.